it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, we're going to be creating the foxy eyes makeup look. Um, it's just a trend that I've been saying all over the internet and I wanted to give it a try. I feel like my eyes look very like upward. I mean, that's the point of the whole tutorial, but like, I don't know. I really like how they look. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So as you guys can see, I have the majority of my face on now. Um, I did my concealer and my foundation. I'm going to move on to contouring because I feel like that's, I feel like that's what's a little bit more important in like this tutorial and how to make your face like lifted. Start contouring my face. And I'm going to bring a little bit of that shadow up here. As if we are pulling upward you can definitely see the difference and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of that and bring it to my jawline you can see the difference there And then I'm going to grab a little bit and just put it right up top here. I have so many baby hairs. And then we're going to leave the blush and the um, highlight till the end. We're going to come back to that. Okay, so we're going to move on to eyes. And I'm going to be using my EYN um, Nude 42 Color Palette um, from Beauty Bay. And I love this thing so much. Um, it has like a bunch of neutrals and who doesn't love a good neutral palette. And I'm going to start off with a really fluffy brush and this is a Morphe M505. And first of all, I'm just going to take a really light brown, which is Bare Necessity. This right here and it's a very light brown and I'm just going to take that and run it on my crease just so that we have a really light transition shade I'm gonna zoom you guys I always forget to zoom you guys in for the eye look okay there you go then I'm gonna take a this is a Sigma E35 and I'm gonna go in with a little deeper shade and I'm gonna take the shade cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> Cinnamon, C cinnamon, cinnamon, there we go, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna grab that just a little bit and work it on my crease. Now we have to go ahead and create that wing upward. And what I'm gonna use for that, I'm gonna take the shade Slow Motion, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna take that in a fluffy E25 brush. And I'm gonna just grab a piece of paper and kinda like line it up where I would want this shadow to go, which we want it to go upward. So, like this. Just like that. Making sure that you're obviously creating those lines. The more precise, the better. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take an angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, Morphe brush, which is just an angle brush, and taking that same slow motion, I'm gonna connect the liner. And I'm gonna go back to cinnamon, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that and start blending this upward into my crease. 
now going with a deeper shade i'm gonna go ahead and take take a hike which is this one right here i'm gonna change um angle brushes but it's another angle brush and i'm just gonna just put this really close to my lash line And then right here in my inner corner, I'm going to extend that line. Just like that, because we're extending our eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like chisel this out. With my concealer because we are not gonna apply on my lower lash line we're not gonna apply um any shadow because we don't want to bring shadows to our eyes so that it makes them like smaller i'm gonna apply a little bit of a um cream eyeliner on my waterline I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows I'm gonna use my pink honey um, brow soap and oh, it smells so good it smells like bubble gum I'm gonna brush them up as much as I can I saw a lot of, a lot of people like shave their brows and I was like yeah no I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that so I found this picture on um Pinterest about like the Marvel chronological order and I've been watching Marvel movies for like a week at this point and I'm on Iron Man 3 and I gotta say they're becoming one of my favorite like superheroes the Avengers the movies are pretty cool. My eyes are watering and I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to lashes. And I couldn't find a pair of lashes that I had that was um, kind of like very like feathery outside. And I found these like in my stash. And these are Coco Lashes in this sh in the shade in the style um scarlet so those are the ones that we're gonna use today and i'm hoping they look you know so i'm gonna try the technique of like not putting mascara until after i put the lashes and i'm gonna see if it's like that easy to like apply i'm gonna take my mac peaches blush and i'm just gonna take a little bit and i'm gonna like apply it like back here and i'm not gonna take it onto like the apples and then for highlight i'm gonna take my whisper of guilt and again high points of my cheek I mean that was easier I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I need to order a new I need to order so much new makeup that I am like running super low on my mascara is getting so dry. Our lips, um, I don't think this one is still available on ColourPop. This is grunge, but it's just like a brownish, um, like a brownish lip color. And I'm going to just line my lips real quick. And this is a... Bebe Bella Cosmetics Lip pe uh, Pencil and it's in the shade Cappuccino which is kind of like a reddish brown Yeah, this is the final look I really like how it came out um I'm going to show you guys how it looks with a more natural look or lipstick. Although I really like how uh, it looks with this shade. 
I'm gonna take Deja from ColourPop. And this is a much more wearable shade. I'm gonna just plot it a little bit so it's not that intense. But yeah, this is the look right here. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any requests, please don't forget to leave them down in the comment section. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!